In the year 1947, war rages on. The Axis have discovered a cult digging through the ruins outside a small village in Eastern Europe. Seeking to protect the church from the monsters soon to be summoned, do they possess the strength to prevail, or will darkness consume the land forever? Welcome to Black Sheep Game Geeks. I'm Al. I'm Ash. And today we're going to be playing a quick Halloween game of Dusk 1947. I'll be playing the Axis Luftwaffe with some um, zombie supports uh, loaned by the Blute Crews. I'm bringing the Mythos. Migos galore for me. So let's go ahead and dive into it and see how this match goes. Objective for the game will be Mythos is attacking the church. Mythos gets even a single figure inside the church and is able to hold the church for a full round without any access troops entering the church to defend it. They will corrupt the church and claim victory. If the Axis is able to hold out for six rounds, then the Axis will win and drive off the Mythos to fight another day. Mythos initiative roll. Not terrible. Mythos initiative roll. Axis oh. takes initiative. All right, Axis first activation. I am going to go ahead and activate the Fallstrom Artisol. And we're going to take a march move to move one, two, three. Take up a defensive position in front of the church. Uh -huh. Have give a warning to those uh, mythos coming up. So you have four activations. Four activations. I have three and a pass, right? You do. I'm using Florentine my pass. Is I'm with, put it here. Florentine is with her ruck and poop over here. Two squads of zombies, and then the pack board. I have Lilith with her coldest fire squad. I have Amigo assault squad, and I have Nadir with his little grouping of Migo Raiders. Not fond of those Raiders. The zombies will be trying to keep their distance. It'll be a zombie squad. I'll take my little base guys here. They're going to march move three. So one, two, three. They're going to legit just move straight ahead. Nice thing is they're simple. Zombies are a two, three movement. Standard infantry one. My Activation. zombie squad is activated. My turn. Opening here, opening here. Yes. We can go ahead and move lift. In there. One, right? Mm -hmm. Two, three, four, five. Yep. And moving into the building there will provide you actually with full blocking terrain from my pack 40. Zombies, they're melee units anyway, so you don't even have to worry about them. They are activated. Now it's your turn. Alright. My other zombie squad is going to activate. They are going to march move as well. They're just going to move straight ahead. The good mindless zombies. Alright, zombies are activated. Back to you. Back to me. Okay, Lilith is going to wait for these. If I'm in the building here, on the bottom, would I have cover because I'm inside? That first one in through the main so door one, would still provide two. you cover. So I'm not right by the front door. Yeah, if you're right in front of the front door, it wouldn't do you much good. But where you're at, it would even block my shot. They are gone. They Not they're gone, but they have gone. You want them to be gone, but they are not gone yet. You are now activated. Is activated. My final activation. Is your turn, yes. I am going to take a march move with Florentine and her squad to go ahead and fly up into 
the tower here. That is my squad activated. I don't remember. Did the Migo squad have charge? They have charge. They take a free attack action using close combat weapons after performing a march move action. They can go five and then attack. They get close attack only, so you are safe from spores. What is the Dinx armor class? The Pack 40 is an Armor 2 vehicle. They are rolling 6 dice for the squad for a potential of 12 damage. Well, that would be a very dead Pack 40. Those four are going to do a total of 8 damage. The Pack 40 only has 3 health. <gasps> really? Yes. So that pack 40 just went up in a cloud of smoke. Uh, now, because it is a close combat attack, I do at least get to roll a close combat back. I only get one die, though. Oh, but I did hit, so that is funny. one Mego dead. That is round one. Whoops. Clearing tokens from units. The pack 40 was destroyed last round. He's going to lose his turret and no longer be in play. But he does now provide cover for units. Now at three activations like you, so no one has any passes. Round two, ready to roll initiative? Indeed. I'm gonna choose three of my luckiest dice. The Axis is not feeling very comfortable right now. You shouldn't, there's monsters in the area. That was a mistake, okay. Now Axis is going to roll. Mythos has initiative. This will become very bloody very fast. This is where she's looking at wiping me off the board in her next activations. I want to try. Let's see if the dice like me. It's like one, two. In between all the action here. This guy's. I have spore. All units range one. So it would be affecting this group and this group. First damage, you're looking at the fact that you're going to be rolling for each figure in the square hit, and each one will do, I believe it was one damage on that attack. You're going to roll five dice first against the zombies, and then you'll be rolling six dice against Florentine and her crew. That is three hits. All right, and this is against Florentine's group? Yes. With the score attack. That's only one hit. So one hit against Florentine. I can live with that. Spore attack. So I do get saves against this. There is no cover save for Florentine and her squad. Because of the spore? Because it's spore. But they do get a basic infantry save. Infantry. Rolling one die for Florentine's hopeful save. And it was a save. So, so that Florentine is negated. Saves. Yay, good job. Now the zombies get to roll their save. Now the fun part is they are zombies, which means the zombies get a infantry pass on a shield as well as a faction symbol. Uh... So it will make them a little more hopeful, but I'm still not that hopeful because Florentine saved. But I did save two out of the three. So that's pretty good. So that is only one zombie down. That is a lot better than I was worried. So they just finished their spore attack, and it was mildly successful. Mildly. It was. And now I can do a claw attack. I have two times claws now. They're going to use them on the zombies. Bring it so. on. It's four dice. One damage each. Can you kill the zombies? Or will they get their chance to fight back? Rolling four dice, Miko claw attack against the zombies. Oh, and that was nothing. They were too excited. Or they were dazed by their own spores. Now, my zombies do get their <laughs> return attack. Oh, man. Now, there are four of them. So, they're going to give the Migo a little taste of their own medicine, hopefully with more success. They are rolling two dice a zombie for eight dice. 
one damage each. Do it. Ooh. All right, and that is a very dead Migo squad. Wah, wah. That is four hits. So they were activated. Migos and then don't have any kind of damage resilience or uh, dead anything. So dead. It was totally worth it. I still got to get in and do an attack. You did, and you did kill a zombie. The Migos did their job. They killed the. Uh, RSO, so anytime they can take out a vehicle before they go down is usually considered pretty darn good. That's why I love the Migos. They're really good at that. Those zombies are a little uh, hangry now. <laughs> what are they going to do? Well, I hate to say it, I think I'm going to have them start heading over for Lilith. So they're going to take a march move. They're gonna go one, two, and three. They won't be able to beat the girls just yet, but at least they're getting in position to hopefully pick a fight. I know the girls are like, welcome to our machine guns. Well, Lilith's group is going to do that sustained attack. She has no damage, so she is regular Lilith, which means she has a submachine gun as well. Rolling it in two groups. Rolling it in two groups, because my hands are not that big. But Lilith sustained attack against the zombies that came into her building. Sounds like a plan. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're going to pull out all your hits. I see at least four hits already, and because of sustained attack, you get to re-roll all the misses. This is still only the first half of the dice being rolled. But that added another four to your hits. Rolling right. the second grouping of dice. Four more hits. All right, re-rolling the misses on this path. And two more. All right, so that is 14 hits. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> um, I do get a basic infantry save against that. Because I do have bigger hands, I'm gonna go ahead and roll them all at once. Sounds good. Um, again, the zombies do get a save on shield and faction symbol. However, being that I'm trying to save against 14 dice, I'm not very hopeful that I'm going to save that many. You never know. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, so that is only a total of six saves. That is uh, nowhere near enough. So, Zombie Squad is eliminated. Whoa. <laughs> Zombie Squad is off the board. This is starting to turn and look in favor of the Mythos again. It is now my activation. I'm going to go ahead and activate my zombies here. Moving one, two. They're going to come join the party in the house. House party. That is like one hell of a house party. You have Mythos monsters and zombies. Well, it is a Halloween game, so it's <laughs> only fitting to, you know, put everyone in a room together. They're going to go ahead and make a attack here. Do it. Rolling 10 dice attack against the Migos and the Deer. And that was not very useful. That was only three hits. You get to roll your own close combat attacks in return. So you will roll four dice That's as correct. close combat in return. This could be very bad for my four zombies. Uh, so I will be losing one. a zombie. But only one. It was worth the risk. How are you applying your three points of damage? Nadir. I kind of had a feeling you were going to say that. To Nadir? It is the logical choice. And it's the choice that I'm used to you making. Just gonna pull this zombie out as my casualty here. 
And I'm going to mark them as activated. Nadir has one hit point left. Well, that still leaves them in plenty fighting shape to make life difficult for me. So Nadir and his Migo group are going to attack the zombies that came stomping rudely into his building that he claimed, apparently. Well, I was kind of impolite with it. (laughs) But in all fairness, you came into my town first. So Nadir will be attacking with his revolver times two. That is six dice for one damage each. And he also has killing spree. So for every successful hit, he will roll that die again until he runs out of dice to roll or runs out of hits. All right, rolling Nadir's attack against the zombies. Okay, so that's three hits. We're going to go ahead and... Mark these out. So rolling the next three to continue with the killing spree. That is two more hits. Rolling two more dice. Nope. And we're finally out. So that will be a total of five hits. From Nadir himself. So I'm going to go ahead and roll my five saves real quick for the zombies. And that was not bad. I will take one casualty... So far, this could be a lot worse already. Now the Migos step in, seeing that their leader was attacking. They gotta back him up. Because it's all part of the same attack, it would still count the figure that was eliminated. So you're going to be rolling a total of 12 dice for that attack. Now the downside for the Axis in this point, aside from... 12 dice against 4 figures would be bad enough on a good day. These Migos do have Death Rays, which means that they have Radiation Ability. And any successful saves I might roll against these, even with the improved Zombie save, still has to be re-rolled. So that means double the chance of me dying here. If you want to roll it in two parts, you can roll it in two parts. I can fit all 12. Do all 12. All right. It looks so nice. And more dice? There you all right, so let's count out. We've got two, four. That's six hits. 50%. But it was sustained attack. So go ahead and roll that. We also forgot to actually roll sustained the for Nadir. rest of Nadir's sustained attack, oh, unfortunately. Well. Too late now. So that is three more. So that's a total of nine damage coming in. Let's see if I can't save some of that. Do it! So here goes the first roll. That would have been spectacular. I would have, you know, still died, actually, because (laughs) three already got through. But just because, yeah, (laughs) that, that proves that I am so... So very dead. Removing the entirety of the squad here as they're all eliminated from that rather vicious counterattack. Activated. <laughs> Must be nice to still need activation tokens. You have one. That's true. I have one squad standing still. It's a 1v2 right now. There is hope. What are they going to do? You know, I dare say I have a real conundrum here. Do I head out and hope that I can put out enough fire to stop the incoming hordes? Or do I try to hold my ground and hope that I don't get knocked out holding the church? It's a tough call. I think what I'm going to try and do here is I'm going to get a little crazy. My squad that's been hiding in the church here is going to take a small movement of three. So they're going to move two, three. And got it. They're going to go ahead and put the top of the steeple here back into place. Now that they're in position, it's unbelievably dangerous what I'm going to try and do here. But I am going to try to make an attack against Lilith and her coven. 
To do so, I'm going to start with Florentine as she is coming in expert with her laser. She will be rolling two dice and re-rolling for all hits she receives, much like the killing spray a moment ago. Following her attack will be the Rackenthrup Battle Squad coming in with it. Their attack is going to be a bit more vicious. They will be firing their machine gun, which will be nine dice. Four assault rivals, rifles for 16 dice. It's a lot of dice. And then, just to make sure, I'm also firing the two Panzerfausts to really try and truly cook Lilith and her coven. So which will be two more dice. This stand is very brutal. I'm going to try and do everything I can to ensure that I keep this church safe. Rolling Florentine's attack. Again, she is using her laser pistol, which is two dice. She is an expert in her attack, which works for me. That is two hits so far. See if we can get any luck with the laser. Nope. Unfortunately not, but we do have two hits from that. This is the machine gun from the battle squad. So that is going to be four more hits. That makes me feel a little better. The next one's going to be the real fun, because this is going to be 16. A lot of dice. All right. So this is the four assault rifles coming out of here. Hopefully this can add up some more damage. Okay, not really what I was hoping for. <laughs> this was a sustained attack. Ash would really have something to be afraid of right now. But as it is, she's trying really hard not to laugh at me. I just like seeing that many that dice brutal. roll. All right. And then the two pounds are fast because at this moment, I really have to clear the enemy or I'm going to lose this game. So nothing on the Panzerfoss. So those are expended as weapons. So that is a total of nine. Now, because I am shooting into a building, although I am shooting through a large opening, I am still shooting across the square. So you do get a cover save as well. So you're saving on faction as well as shield. Sweet. So let's see what you can do. See if Lilith's group can save themselves. Okay, well, that was not bad. Only three damage gets through. You managed to successfully save the three here. You save the two here and one here. So, three damage. I can only imagine where that's going to go next. Let's go on to Lilith, which makes her turn possessed. What a surprise. Possessed Lilith no longer has her machine gun. She has a close combat bite that's worth six. Conveniently enough, that will can bring her back up to full health with a successful attack and allow her to bite through most of my squad. That is activated in end of round two. Oh. I have four rounds to continue trying to defend this church before I am well and truly cooked, and she gets to have me for dinner anyways. All right, starting round three. Time to roll initiative. Axis is going to roll. And I don't like where this is headed. All right, let's see if the mythos can do worse. Well, this isn't going to go well. <laughs> Unless I roll horribly from here. One can only hope. All right. First activation of the match. What are you going to do? I'm thinking that Deer's group has been in a building for too long and it's driving me nuts, so I really want to pull them out. Right now, my axes are feeling about like this. Oh, no. I like the face. This would be two? Yes. Three, would I have line of sight on them here? Yes, you would. Okay, so they're going to go one, 
two, three, There we go. So they move their three, and we go again with this uh, Nadir revolvers, and we go death race. Boo! <laughs> now, at this time, I'm going to try something rather daring. Uh oh. I'm going to attempt a reactive attack. Ah, what if you lose it? Well, then I'm already going to die. Attempting reactive attack roll. I do get one action. So I am going to unload with every gun I have and hope that I can end this. So again, Florentine will be attacking with her dual pistols. Again, she is expert, rolling two dice for one damage each, re-rolling any successful hits. First roll, we again get two successful hits. Now we're going to see if she can get anything more going for her. She does get one more hit. Next roll. Nothing. So that is at least three hits from Florentine herself. I no longer have any Panzerfaust to fire. So it's going to be nine dice. Or wait, sorry. I have to remember that the Migos are infantry three. So it's actually six dice for the machine gun this time. This is why I really have to hope that I can bring them down. So here's the six for the machine gun. Not much successful there. Now for the assault rifles, There's I'm actually thing. only down to eight. So now the assault rifles get to roll eight dice. A lot different from that uh, 16 before. But that's a bit better. Now we get four more hits. If I'm really lucky, since Nadir is already wounded, that might just be able to bring them down. Oh, I'm scared. All right. So now you get to roll your safe throws. Eight total. Eight total? Yes, because that's all that my squad could manage. Eight. All right. Rolling. Save. Nadir, save them. All right. That is Amigo Squad and Nadir down. Out of that, you saved. <laughs> One. One point of damage. <laughs> oh, man. Now, unfortunately, That's if they so had been able to move just close enough to get into that wreckage, they would have had cover, and that roll would have been a lot different. So, unfortunately for me, that means Florentine and her squad is activated, but they are also left completely in the open and at the mercy of Lilith and her coven. Somehow, I don't think they're going to be kind enough to only sustained attack with their machine guns from where they are. But you never know. It's actually a debate at the moment because sustained attacking with the machine guns would be a decent bit of damage. So that's 20 dice with a sustained attack re-rolling any misses, that does give you a pretty solid chance to wipe out the squad. Without just having from to get in range. close and take an attack back. So if I do the sustained attack, then I get the 20 dice and I get to re roll my misses. But if I move forward, then you don't get saves against that close combat. So I still get to shoot you, and then I get a close combat attack. Yeah, which does worry me because the 20 dice alone might tear me apart, and whatever's left, you then get to close combat where I get no saves. Combined with that bite, you could hold out just well enough to get into that church after all. Let's try it. They are rushing the church. We're going to fight right. these guys. Girls? Guys? Guys and girls? Well, it's surely not guys and dolls. <laughs> I'm going to try to roll all 20 at once. All right, let's see what happens. My hands are not that big. This is really awkward. <laughs> huh? 
Oof. Okay, so let's break this up into groupings of four. All right, let's do groupings of three. I like that. All right, so that's already six, nine. That is 11 hits just from that. You get saves on those. So I get 11 saves, basic infantry saves. Only faction saves me. So let's find out if this is where the Mythos gets their victory. Oof. And that is officially the Axis down. Yes, go ahead and focus on that one lone saved die. <laughs> All right. Well, considering that is 10 damage they got through, I only have five for the squad and four for the hero for a total of nine hit points to try and do anything. That's officially uh, squad down. Ooh. There we go. Queen's over. And that means the Mythos wins the day and is able to claim the village and the church. Good job. That was fun. So that concludes our Halloween battle for Dust. That was super fun. That was. And <laughs> not quite what I hoped for in that match. Uh, I know there was one play that I wasn't entirely happy with when I did it. And I was like, that was dumb. But we live and we learn. And that's just the way it goes. And that's, you know, part of the fun. I had a really good time. I'm sure you did. You won. Not just because I won. Like, it would have had just as much fun if I lost, to be honest. It was just like, go, 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 go. It was, it was always good, something happening. It was yeah, it was a good fast exciting. game. Lots of action. Forces didn't take forever to get into contact with each other. Very quick. Uh, getting to the point was an absolute blast. And we had a good time. And we got to roll a ton of dice. We did. Dust is great for that. I love dice. And we wanted to give a shout out to Little Shop of Magic here in Las Vegas, where we recently picked up this really awesome dice tray. We actually had a hard time picking it because there were so many styles to choose from. So many styles, so many different colors, shapes, patterns, you name it. And they have uh, dice towers you can attach to the trays. Yep, they literally will just clip right over the edge here, let you roll the dice right into the tray. Super gorgeous. So cool. Love that. That's actually our next purchase from Little Shop, I think. Maybe, maybe. Think so. That and our dice tray. Or a D&D book. Or D&D books. So, <laughs> we also want to give a shout out to Rusty Cat Productions. That's uh, our good friends, Russell and Cat, who made the train we were using here tonight. We especially love the church. It is super affordable terrain. Everything comes off nice and easy. And it's just simple snap together terrain. So all of this will actually just kind of come apart to become a rather easy to store terrain option. That house folds down nice and small. And it smells so good. It does. Smells like a fresh campfire. Believe me, the ladies will love it. <laughs> we highly recommend that you check out their terrain. It will be down in the description below for you to get in touch with Russell and get yourself some terrain. It is wonderful stuff. And even though the studio recently closed for Dust, you can still pick the game up. If you're in North America, Dust USA has a shop finder so you can find local retailers that carry the game near you. And if you're in the European market, make sure you check out Ammo Drop and War Factory for a wide selection of Dust products while they still have them. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye. We're ha love to have you here. And remember, like and subscribe, stay safe, and roll on.